I work hard every mother day, 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 day. I work hard, I work hard. Hey, TCF family, join me in congratulating Mikkel for being February's member of the month. Mikkel, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's been a long time coming, right? Yes, it's, it's been nine years. Yeah, Mikkel's been having this, uh, this uh, what do you call it? Not, not like a um a goal call, a goal yeah, uh, uh what is it what you were like running for member of the month what was it called when you're running for something like a race a race or something like that no 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 like uh like a, for politics or whatever like you're oh, running well, for it's it a, uh, a campaign, campaign. No, it's, i've been campaigning it. for myself yes yes she's been campaigning <laughs> for member of the month for a while now so she finally got it yeah <laughs> um so tell us a little bit about yourself mikhail what's your occupation age usual class time fitness story yeah uh, so my occupation, I am an athletic trainer at Carolina Family Practice in Sports Medicine. Um, I work at the big Duke Health Building in Holly Springs most of the time. Um, I am 41 years old. I started CrossFit in 2013. Um, so I've been here for a while. Uh -huh. I guess my journey, um, I, I feel like I've done a lot of, like most of the sports that I played in college um, I played college soccer and then um, was on a rowing team. And most of it was like cardio endurance type stuff. And I think uh, CrossFit has kind of introduced more of the barbell workouts and the, the strength, and like the strength portion. Yeah. So um, that's what it's kind of meant to me. Yeah. So. So so tell us a little bit about your uh, experience with rowing. You are a you're, you were a coxswain. I was a coxswain. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And the, the story about that is I was just in grad classes one day and one of the classes, my, one of the coaches was in class with me, one of the grad coaches mm -hmm. uh, for the rowing team, and she asked me, would you like to try out? Um, and it ended up I still had one more year of NCAA eligibility and was able to get on the rowing team. There you go. So, nice. So um, learned a lot. Definitely learned a lot by myself. Yeah. Because um, as a coxswain, you're more of a leader, and um, I never really saw myself in that position up until that time, and I, I it taught me. You were kind of thrown into the role and I was like, really hey. yeah I was really thrown into the fire mm. which um yeah it, it really taught me a lot and um you know it's a team sport for, for one thing it's a team sport uh for sure and um we were actually ranked number one in the nation my boat was and to be very very young mm -hmm. and very new to a sport where you're now number one in the nation because of the girls you're with yeah. I mean it was all them I had yeah. nothing to do with that but, but you just sit up there tell them stroke Stroke. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And rowing on Miami Beach every morning was. Oh, that must be nice. Was it was cold. People don't understand how cold it gets in Miami at 5 a.m. But I so I'm all bundled up. But yeah, um, wearing wetsuits and stuff like wetsuits, that. Yeah, no wetsuits. But I was definitely in a lot of parkas and layers. Because mm -hmm. by 8 a.m. it's already up to 80 degrees. So yeah. you're already like starting to strip down. So but, it's like you have to have all these layers and like every hour you're just yeah. stripping stuff off. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. And so you said you've been doing CrossFit now since 2013. 2013, yeah. Right. There you go. Haven't looked back since, right? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't looked back since. There you go. Hopefully nice. we'll be at the games next year. Exactly. Exactly. We're pushing you for a game <laughs> spot now um, for the for the Masters Division, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we sure. go. <laughs> so um, one question was, uh, we, we know that you love short overhead stuff, so yeah. we wanted you to oh, demonstrate yeah. push press and a put. No. <laughs> but um, yeah. But like we, 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 love, uh, we love that you can like uh, take a joke and stuff like that, and we love picking on you and stuff along those lines. But um, kind of with that, um, you said you've been doing CrossFit since 2013, and you've been doing your uh, physical um, – Crap, what was the actual athletic title? Trainer. Athletic trainer. Uh, I was about to say physical trainer. I was like, that's not right. Um, and you said you've been doing uh, being an athletic trainer for about the same amount of time, right? Right. Well, at this company that I'm with, um, I've been an athletic trainer since 05 ish. Yeah, 05 is when I was certified. Mm -hmm. So I've been been doing that for years. So what kind of caused you to go down that route? Uh, I think when I was in school, uh, you know, I was a college. I, I played uh, a little bit of soccer in, in college. I played one year of college soccer, and I knew I was never going to – I wasn't that good. I was never going to be a NCAA or a, a professional soccer player. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to um, still stay in sports. And when I was at Mars Hill, athletic training was a, a, something I could major in. Um, and I did it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I never looked back from that either. That is something I love to do. I love to be an athletic trainer. And I love doing what I do and helping people. Yeah. Um, and I'm still in the sports realm too, which really helps. So. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you just you didn't know that your your calling was to be the coxswain versus to be a soccer player, yeah. right? <laughs> right, right. And when I was a coxswain, yeah. Well, and at that with soccer, um, I knew I had to stop. 
at, by my sophomore year with the hours that I had to get with athletic training. Yeah. Um, we had to have 1,500 observation hours. Oh, geez. Before I could graduate and, and take my boards and, and be certified. So um, that was – you can't, it's really hard to play a fall sport and get all, you got, get all your observation hours. Yeah. So I had to come – there was a cross – there was kind of a fork in the road. Do I want to keep playing soccer? Which, mm -hmm. at that point, it was a job, and I, I didn't really enjoy it that much anymore. I wanted to be an athletic trainer, so yeah. I chose athletic training. And so what do you enjoy most about athletic training? Is it the helping people, or mm -hmm. is it like – I think it's just the helping people. And, you know, I've worked with so many different people with so many different backgrounds. And, um, you know, a lot of times when you're helping people, they're helping you as well. Like, you don't realize – I mean, it could be that one athlete um, that had – you know, a bad, you know, just a horrible injury and, and surgery and, um, and then the most positive people in the world. Yeah. And then they help you in turn with you helping them. Yeah. You know, just by watching them or their actions or their, their dedication. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Dang. That's awesome. I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And so, um, I know another, cause again, we, we love picking on you and stuff like that. Um, something uh, <laughs> something that was brought up for, for, through the coaches and stuff was the question was, what is your uh, ideal date? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so for those of you who may not know, this isn't really a member of the month interview. This is more of a uh, the dating profile for uh, Mikkel. Um, <laughs> so, so Mikkel, what is your what is your ideal date? My ideal date. Yes. So I do like Chick Fil A. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As long as I get something with like the you know anything with the the little Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. So like just I'm a calm person. Mm -hmm. Like I don't I like I like riding rides though roller coasters so I could do. Well, that's not like very that calm. Or, well, that's not very well. I guess when you're not on it. But, yeah. Um. Just wait. What do you prefer waiting in lines? Is that more that's calm? True, but you get to know each other though. Yeah. Okay. So. So would you like want to go to Carowinds or Kings Dominion or some of the other do ones? Do that. Like here? you get like I could be adventurous and get on roller coasters where I could be like just really really quiet let's just go to a nice restaurant and have a pizza okay so where would you want to go get a pizza from Asagio's is really good Asagio's okay yes. Asagio's is very good in Fuquay there we go yeah okay so if anyone's out there is looking for a <laughs> <laughs> athletic trainer we should like flash my phone over right on the screen yeah right just kind of like go back look at no <laughs> um, eight six seven five three oh nine yeah <laughs> there we go lord yeah there you go just start singing that song over and over again um but so uh, but like i mean again like one of the things we love about you michael is that you get you take a joke you're always happy you're always like so chipper and stuff like that and well how how are you always so like just happy go lucky like and positive yeah. all that stuff all the time i don't know i think a lot of it is my faith you know that that's a big that's a big part of my life but it's also knowing in the end when you're having a bad day it's gonna work out in the end yeah so you just have that positivity like hey it's gonna be okay it may not work out tonight or tomorrow but it's gonna in the end it's gonna work out whatever yeah. that problem is that you're going through or whatever you're facing in the end it's it's gonna be a better place for you I guess yeah so, um, I think me being 41 Jess and I talk about this all the time that you, you get to know yourself at some point in your life well hopefully you do right yeah I know, well, hopefully <laughs> you do and I think that after I turned 40 I was like I know myself mm -hmm. and I feel like I've known myself in my 30s but now I know myself and I know how I'm, how I'm going to react, and um, I know what I want, and so yeah, it's just I okay. mean that just makes everything a lot easier um, when you when you get up in the morning and you know what's going to happen and you know how you're going to react to things and yeah, um, and the biggest thing too is this is my family. Like TCF is my family. Like I, I've met some of my best friends here, um, and you know people that if I ever had a bad day that I can call and be like, guess what happened to me today, mm. and they would. I have so many people I call you. on in this gym. Yeah. So that's where the family comes in for me. Yeah. And I feel like people would call me too if oh, yeah. they had a problem. So I, w I hope. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, there's been plenty of times where, like, you just walk over to me. You're like, hey, Joe, let's talk or whatever. And we just talk or whatever. And it just, like, comes out of the comes out of the blue, and which is really awesome. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're just so easy to talk to. And then it's like, I didn't know I had some weight on my chest. And all of a sudden now I, the weight I didn't know I had is now off my chest yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so it's like it's like just your chipper cheerful attitude and also like i mean something about you is like you're just always eager to improve you're always asking like i mean we joke about the push jerk and push press and then like how you finally understood the difference now and stuff like that but it's like but years. i mean this, no um <laughs> hey you've been trying but like you're always eager to improve you're always wanting to like you're always asking the coaches hey or at least me i know you you're always asking hey is this looking better i give you a cue and you're wanting to be better you're wanting to improve and that's awesome as well yeah. like you're always 
um, looking to challenge yourself in different ways and all, always wanting to be better. Um, even though people can uh, not complain, even though me, people make the comment of like, hey, don't be sandbagging McKell or yeah. whatever. <laughs> I think Jess meant that today yeah. in the class. <laughs> yeah, she said it. Sandbagger Sally. Yeah, but hey, it, again, it's like the, we know that you have that uh, super cheerful attitude and you just let things like roll off your shoulder and then like, um, I mean, just always like super like excited all the time. I don't think I've ever seen you where you're like down the dumps at all, which is yeah. amazing after nine years, right? Right. Well, <laughs> and I feel like like even like when it's been a long day, Mondays are my hard days. Like, you know, I work and, you know, I have a job where you're moving around. It's not a desk job. Yeah. Uh, you're moving around and you you get to a point and you're just like, I just need you're to go dead. home. <laughs> and like, I feel like Mondays I have to force myself to come in here. But when I do that, I feel a lot better. Mm. Um, I feel like I actually accomplished something. So Kinda yeah, it's easy. Off. It's easy to feel like, I mean, cause I think we, we all have jobs. Like we all, we all struggle with jobs and family and kids. And yeah. um, I mean, I don't have kids, but something, some, some yeah, there's yeah. always just that one thing that's there that you, 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 you have to put your time into and then coming here, can be a burden for a lot of people. But I feel like, this is where um, I feel better and I'm able, like, I just feel like once I'm into a good routine here, mm-hmm. everything else just kind of starts to fall oh. into place. Yeah. So even at work, like I can, I know when I haven't been here a week, like, or you can, like, for a tell couple a days, like I can tell. So, yeah. And it's like, it's like, that's a, a good thing to have. Like it, you, you, you want that, like, cause I mean, it's healthy for you, right? You need to move, you need to exert energy, you need to get a sweat on yep. and stuff like that. And that's good that, that you're in that routine where you can feel the difference where you are working out or when you aren't, wor- or when you aren't working out. Right. Well, this is the, physically, this is the best I've felt in a long time. Like I like the way I look and feel and, um, I'm really trying to change my nutrition up too. Like once mm-hmm. you're into a good routine, oh, like yeah. working out, you're, you're, everything else is going to follow along, right. you know, whether it be nutrition Chick-fil-A is okay. I mean, moderation. I get it. But. <laughs> hey, everything in moderation, right? <laughs> everything in moderation. Yeah. Just m- m- some more maybe than others. <laughs> as long as you get the Chick-fil-A sauce, you're good. Yeah, exactly right. Um, and so kind of speaking about before you started uh, TCF and stuff like that, what was the biggest challenge that you had prior to joining the family? I think the biggest challenge for me, I came before I came here, I was um, at a university setting, so I was working a lot of hours um a day and maybe not so many days off um but I think the biggest challenge for me was when I stopped that job like everything was about um the people around me like I'm serving people around me a lot yeah all day and I stopped and then I'm in a clinic setting where it's routine out like it's normal hours and you're not covering a game at eight nine o'clock at night you're now nine to five and I think for me when I came to TCF that was the time I transitioned into the clinic um and I almost went into depression because, you know, it got to a point where it was about everybody else. And then now everything's structured. I have a life of my own and I didn't know what to do with that life. Of my yeah, you, you, you went from having no free time at all right. to now you have like all the free, free time. time. <laughs> and I had, you know, I go four tens, whereas I'm working seven days a week at the job I was at. Now I'm at four tens. You got a three day weekend every week. You're well, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had at that point I had Tuesdays off and then weekends because weekends you were working at my old job. You're working on the weekends and then. Now I get Thursdays off, but I mean, it was, now, you know, four days a week is not that bad. Yeah. Um, but it's 10 hours, which, you know, if you're ready to go, you know, you can work 10 hour days, but sometimes that can get like, a little long, but you still get that extra day off, which is nice. So it's almost like kind of having that productive feeling or whatever, even when you're not working uh, the, on, during your free time, what yeah. do you do to better yourself or whatever, right? Right. And so then like, how'd that challenge make you feel? I know you mentioned that you kind of, we're almost going into a state of depression and stuff yep. like that. So kind of, is that how it made you feel with the free time with the, like feeling like you didn't have, I don't know, the, the productive free time. Is that kind of how it made you feel? Yeah. I, it, it, yeah. And I, it never like fully went into depression. Like that was right. never, it was just right, kind of like, just, it was a change. It was like, a huge uh, change. Yeah. But, and one of my friends told me when I went to the clinic setting, she told me, she's like, you're going to get depressed. Like be ready for it because it's going to be a huge change for you. Um, and I think when I did that, now I have a day off or, you know, during the week where I don't know what to do with myself. Mm-hmm. And so I started coming here Tuesday mornings, I think, when yeah. I had that day off. And then 
um, Tuesday afternoon, like you, f you, you got that workout in, you feel great. And I was able to carry on through that day and find things to do and get into routine. Yeah. Have and that TCF like accomplishment. Really, yeah. And, and TCF really helped me with that. Yeah. And now I'm to the point now at nine years at my job, do it going four tens. I don't know what five <laughs> days in a row. I don't know what it would be like to go Monday through Friday. Honestly, <laughs> it'd, it'd almost be like, Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I, I need that. I need that day off in the middle of the week somewhere. <laughs> so, I guess it has its challenges too. But yeah, but now you know. This, now I can. I feel like I got a good workout in this morning. Yeah. And and I can go home and and feel good about myself. Like yeah. accomplishment, doing something very early in the morning. Nine thirty. I don't know if that's early, but <laughs> first in the kind morning. of first second thing you know thing in the morning. Get a good workout in, and it carries me throughout the day. There you go. So. And then kind of like, where are some other of the positive impacts that you've seen? Like, I mean, you have that productiveness now, you have that family atmosphere, you have your close friends. What other kind of positive impacts uh, have you seen after joining the TCF family? I, don't know, I just, I like to see it grow. Like, we have so many new people, which is great. And that's mm -hmm. a positive impact on this gym. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like, and especially with the classes, like, when I first started coming, it was kind of the same people in this and that's great because then you get to meet those people and they're like your best friends yeah like the people that I, that I met when I first came here um they're like my best friends now and I, I can count on them um and then you know people kind of joined throughout the years and got close to them yeah. but I feel like sometimes you need to change that up a little bit too and have people new people come into these classes I like the big classes oh yeah they like today we had what 12 people 12 uh, 13 I don't know easy was, like and it was just yeah it was, it was, just it was fun. a lot yeah yeah um and depending on who you work out by, that can be very interesting. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're around a jokester. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut, you cut up a little bit. Well, I mean, but, you need to be working out. But, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a it, what was it? Like, again, in the middle of the workout or whatever, like yelling stuff across the room, talking to, to yeah. each other and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, I remember, uh, you know, Jess is always, go, Mikhail, go. Mm -hmm. It helps. It helps me. So, yeah. Um, there you go. And then, so, uh, what would you say to someone that's on the fence about joining? try it out just try it out and I think a lot of people get nervous about like the barbell work and the strength work and um, that's what the coaches are actually here for mm -hmm. is to help you kind of through that because I was nervous because I never really did that much um, barbell work or strength work and and with my my in college or you know with my my teams that I played with um, maybe a little bit but nothing like this where you're deadlifting you know 200 pounds or whatever you know, yeah whatever it is but um I think you have to rely on the coaches. Just have trust and faith in the coaches too because they're here to help you. Yeah. Um, like you said, the classes are small enough where you, they can help. And just ask questions if you yeah. don't feel comfortable. And if you don't feel comfortable doing something, ask somebody. Right. And we and, and the coach will modify if yeah. needed. So um, if you don't feel like you can do a pull-up, well, then we can do something else. Like, And you're still getting stronger. You're still doing something. Right. And you're still not sitting on your couch. Like yeah, you're actually well, here trying to accomplish. One, one thing that Wayne says all the time that I really like <laughs> – he says it to, to so that he can keep adjusting it to where it's a super easy workout. But he's like, hey, I'm doing better than if I was sitting on the couch at home. I was like, that is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I will not fault you for that. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like the having that trust and faith in the coaches and knowing that we know what we're talking about and stuff like that. I mean, that's super important. Yeah. Just give it a shot, right? right? I mean, so many people, they see cross and they immediately think of, oh, God, I can't, mm -hmm. I could never in my life do that. And it's like when they come in and they see the group of people that are doing it and how diverse it is, the background and the maybe fitness experience, let alone CrossFit experience, right? Yep. It's completely different person by person. Right. Um, and it's just so awesome to watch people that have never lifted before or whatever come in here and enjoy that, try something new, do something different, yep. right? Versus uh, just going and rowing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, and then, so anything else you want to add, Mikhail? No, I, I think this is a great place to join, and I really appreciate you know, all the coaches and how they've helped me um, kind of throughout the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm very grateful for this gym. Oh, so. yeah, and we're, we're grateful to have you. Yeah. I mean, again, you bring a great energy into the classes. Um, it's always a joy to have you in the classes and coach you. Um, and, yeah, I mean, just thank you for always coming in and crushing it. Yeah, right? thank you. I mean, yeah, it's, it's freaking awesome. I mean, remember, uh, you're, you're tough. I'm very You're, you're very tough. tough. You're, you're super coachable, and I'm you're part of the family. Right? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but, Mikhail, uh, thank you again for taking the time for the Member of the Month interview. Congratulations again for being the Member of the Month thank for uh, February. And, yeah. Thank you, coaches. <laughs>